Hi, this is James from the Hornball Technical Support Team and this is a short tutorial to show you how to configure a new field or column on one of your forms. So first thing I'm going to show you is that I've created a new field in my schema editor. I'll include a link on this video to show you how to do this but I'm going to just quickly show you that it is, has been created. Um, so if I go to here I've created a column named James Test so this is actually applied to my current database. So what I'm going to do is open the log new incident form and go to the form designer, so tools design form layout. There's two ways that you can add your new field onto the form. Uh, the most effective way would be through the field chooser on the right hand side. If you don't see either of these particular properties you can just access it again through the view menu. So I'm just going to change the uh, table at the top right hand side here to the open call table as that's where I've created my column. And right down the bottom you can see here that I've created uh, my James test. So that comes in here automatically as soon as you apply this field to your uh, database. So I'm literally just going to drag that on. There we go. And in the properties of these I'm going to set these to uh, left as 100, right as 100, just so it actually stays on the form and correct. I'm going to do the same for the uh, for the label. And save that. I'm also going to make the same change within the details form. Okay. So, from the open call table, again, same thing again, drag it on the form, and I'm just going to set the properties to 50 this time. Great, save that. So, I'm just going to log a new call. test and I'm just going to put some test text in here as well into my new column log and accept open the form and as you can see in my new field I know this uh, format's not quite right you might just want to play with that but um, uh, my text has actually appeared uh, I'm just going to confirm that by just going to the database and uh, just doing a select obviously in the column James test from open call what call ref is my new call 13 and as you can see it has actually updated with that test text um, the only other way that you can do this is you don't have to drag the actual uh, field onto the form you can actually just uh, insert a new field and add that here and the data binding at the top right hand side here, a few people do ask us uh, what this is for. This is obviously the database column, so you can enter this in just exactly the same. And um, when saving that, I'm not going to save it now, but um, it's going to give me an error to say there's already a field on the form with that. It's just going to be exactly the same as here, but uh, we will need to make sure that if you're, if you're doing it on a particular tab, just make sure that the form group is correct as these particular columns here um, are they show on the particular tab because of this uh, tab assess zero so zero is actually the first tab one two three four going forward so uh, if you have any questions around that please let me know um, but that should be uh, pretty simple and I'll also include a link on how to uh, create new database columns